My name's Colin Woodbridge. I'm a water supply operator with Melbourne Water and Central Operations Group, uh, the Surrey Hills team we are. So we look after, in our area, all the storage, transfer and treatment of the water supply for that area. Hi, my name's Michaela Dreberg and I'm the newest Mayor for the City of Monash for 2012-2013. I'm Brad Shee and I'm the current President of the Mount Waverley Cricket Club. Course of the year, so we've got the summer summer months and the Waverley Blues Football Club use it for um, uh, for the winter months. So yeah, senior junior footy and senior junior cricket during those months. In summer, especially during the drought 2005, notice the sprinklers going out on the lower cricket ground there, and and the obvious uh, surface area of the reservoir behind us, especially during a heavy downpour, the amount of water that comes off that roof is huge and the marriage between their need in the sports ground for watering and our ability to supply that need was fairly obvious to me so I've just tried to sort of bundle it up and put it forward as a, an idea for a sustainable project. Oh, well initially um, I just ran it by the local groundsman with the cricket club and told him you know, about the idea and to get it up and running for him to go and see his management and I'd run through it with Melbourne Water. Going through to a few areas uh, local government, government, Melbourne Water, um, totally understanding that it's quite a unique type of uh, thing to do. We started the ball rolling about five or six years ago, I think. Parties got together and met out on site. We ran through feasibility study with our engineers and the Monash uh, City Council's engineers to see about its feasibility. So the City of Monash was, was one of uh, a few partners involved with this project. We supported it with $160,000 towards the project and we also submitted for funding with the Federal Government who also uh, contributed another $160,000 towards the project. So basically we've had a lot of site meetings, a lot of uh, stop start, maybe it's going to happen, maybe it's not, till eventually just this year with the, uh, the Government grant, the Federal grant that uh, the City of Monash got for constructing this project and uh, away it's gone and here it is now. So just this gable of the roof that's going to be harvested, it's got an approximate area of 22,000 square metres and in that service area if you get one square metre, if you get one millimetre of rain it's equivalent of course to one litre of water so the surface area with one mil of rain on it will produce 22,000 litres of water so normally you expect about what 10 mil in a rain event that's uh, 200,000 plus litres of water. It'll come down this drain here, down through the pipe work behind me there, and down into the five tanks below at the cricket ground. But with this project, the five tanks down below, the huge harvest potential off this roof, that should be the greenest cricket ground in Melbourne without using any of our potable water. So from Melbourne Water's point of view, we're keeping our water for consumption, not using it watering grounds unnecessarily. It's good for public relations too. We, We've got on really well with the City of Monash and the Cricket Club in this and um, all the stakeholders have been terrific in bringing about this project to uh, fruition. It's going to give us a really good playing surface. So basically it, it gives a lot of local residents uh, a, a, a great grass coverage on a, an oval that's already really good. But all of a sudden we're going to have something that's even better. I would absolutely strongly advise any colleagues to get involved in a similar project to this. It's been extremely beneficial for council in terms of leading the way and leading um, a path for other organisations to go down. It's had uh, cost savings, it's had water consumption savings and it's been a big impact in the community in terms of the way our reserves and our sporting pavilions are run but also again really support some of our community priorities in terms of sustainability. Well that it's done. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm really proud that it's done. You look at that, that reservoir roof there, it's huge catchment. You look at the fact that you've got gravity down to this sports arena in the fields, so you haven't got any um, consumption of power in generating pumps or whatever, it's a, it's a match made in heaven just ready to go. And it would have been disappointing for it not to go ahead. Uh, sustainability is the name of the game and um, we've made it happen and here it is, it's going to be here as a legacy for that cricket ground and Melbourne Water in their, in their public relations with the uh, City of Monash um, from now and long before I've gone.